Hey guys, uh, Richard here. Uh, hadn't planned to do another haul so soon, but got the inkling to go out and look around today and I found a few things. Uh, hit my local discount store, uh, found some pretty cool stuff there, and then I hit Walmart and picked up a couple things. Uh, so let's just get into it. I picked up Sensational She-Hulk number 14. Uh, it's one I needed for my run. Uh, not the greatest condition, but uh, still happy to get it, check it off the list. Pick up this, uh, New X-Men 37. Uh, I'm trying to get issues 20 through 46 of this run. Uh, they're all either early X-23 stories or pretty decent magic stories. Um, this one focuses on magic, and it's just a really great cover, and I couldn't leave it there for a dollar. Picked up Incredible Hercules 125. Uh, again, this one's an early X-23 appearance, and she's actually on the cover of this one, so that's really cool. Um, just another book for my X-23 obsession. <laughs> Got this for a dollar. Batman Incorporated number 8, uh, Death of Damian Wayne. This is the second printing. Uh, of all the different covers, I think I actually prefer this one the best. I think the like blackish maroon fade to red is a really nice backdrop for this cover. And then there was a, a stack of Bronze Age stuff there, which is actually pretty rare. Uh, they usually just have sort of late 80s to 90s to recent stuff at this discount store, so when I see Bronze Age stuff, I usually just pick it up because everything's a dollar and I can't really leave it there. Uh, Mighty Thor 224. I uh, just had to rescue this one. I don't collect the Mighty Thor, but for a dollar, I'll definitely pick it up. Pretty cool cover, too. Same story, uh, Mighty Thor 253. Don't really collect it, but wasn't going to leave it there. Um, not in the greatest shape, but for a dollar, I could do a lot worse. <laughs> Grab this one, uh, Spider Woman number five. Uh, this one's actually in really, really nice shape. Um, it's pretty much near mid. It has like one little tick on it right there, but other than that, it's a really, really clean copy. So for a buck, that's pretty cool. Spider Woman number nine. Uh, another one I picked up for a dollar. Uh, also in really, really nice shape. Uh, not a, I, I like Jessica Drew Spider Woman, but I don't really collect her. So, but anyway, whatever. Might as well. And then this last one is actually what caught my eye. Um, I was really, really surprised to see this one sitting there. Um, not in the greatest shape, but for a dollar, I'm definitely not complaining. Amazing Spider-Man 194, first appearance of Black Hat. Uh, like I said, it's not in the greatest shape. It, its spine's pretty banged up, and its corners are a little screwy. But for a dollar, I'm pretty happy to, to get this. Plus, it's newsstand, which is awesome. Um, and it has the square box up here instead of like the diamond. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the diamond price um, variants, so really happy to get this one. Uh, probably my best pickup in, I don't know, last few weeks. And then I went to Walmart. Um, Walmart has these new little variant bundles, and uh, I had heard about them, I don't know, maybe a week ago. And I went out hunting for one in particular, and I found it. Uh, this is this one has a uh, all new Wolverine 19 variant, uh, Ron Lim cover. Uh, I'm not sure if it's ratioed, but it's definitely hard to find. Uh, I found an unopened box of these um, three packs, it's, which is like 15 to 20. I didn't count them, but it's quite a few. And there were only two of these in there, and I grabbed both of them. Um, I figured I'd open one up right now and just see what's in it, uh, so you guys don't have to if you don't feel like it. Um, I'm actually going to be giving one of these away in a contest in maybe the next week or so, so um, look forward to that. But uh, let's head into this and see what's actually in there. I don't actually know if what's inside these is the same for every single uh, one. Um, but I'm only going to open one. I'm going to leave the one they give away sealed in case someone wants that. So, Alright, let's see. So 
at first. Obviously, there's this one. Um, not too bad shape. And then there was Inhumans vs. X-Men number one. Uh, that's not bad, that's like a five dollar book, so. Uh, it only costs like seven or eight bucks for the whole three packs, so that's pretty cool. And last is the True Believers, Wolverine number one, Weapon X. So yeah, um, not bad. Uh, if you guys, like I said, I'm going to be giving one away, but uh, if you guys get the chance, get out to Walmart and look for uh, these, because I have a feeling they're not the highest ratio in the world. Um, so yeah, that's all I have. Uh, take care, everyone.